For this pattern, you want to cast on multiples of 18 stitches plus 2. So for row 1 and the right side of your row, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch. Knit 1, start a repeat with knit 1, yarn over, then knit 1, purl 3, and you're going to repeat that four times, the knit 1, purl 3. So knit 1, purl 3, so that's 2 repeats, knit 1, purl 3, So then you have your four repeats of knit one, purl three. Then you're going to knit one, yarn over. Then you're going to start from our repeat and end with a knit one. For row two, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch and a repeat of purl two. Knit three, purl one, and you're going to repeat that four times. After you've repeated it four times, then we're going to purl two and repeat, ending with a knit one. You're going to start by knitting your side stitch. Then a repeat of knit two, yarn over, knit one, purl three, and you're going to repeat that four times, knit one, purl three. Then after that, you're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, and then repeat ending with a knit one. For row four, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch. Then you're going to do a repeat of purl three. Knit three, purl one, and you're going to repeat that four times. Then we're going to purl three, knit 
Then we're going to repeat ending with a knit one. Row five, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch and you're going to begin a repeat of knit three. Yarn over, knit one, purl three, four times, so knit one, purl three, four times. Then you're going to knit one, yarn over, knit two, and you're going to repeat ending with a knit one. For row six, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch, and you're going to begin a repeat of purl four. Knit three, purl one, and you're going to repeat that four times. Knit three, purl one, Then you're going to purl four, and you're going to repeat ending with a knit one. Row seven, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch, and you're going to begin a repeat of knit four. Yarn over, knit one, purl two together, purl one, and you're going to repeat that four times. Knit one, purl two together, purl one. Then you're going to knit one, yarn over, knit three. Then you're just going to repeat that till the end, ending with a knit one. For row eight, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch. Then begin a repeat of purl five. Knit two, purl one, and you're going to repeat the knit two, purl one, four times.
Then we're going to purl five. Then we're going to repeat and end with a knit one. For row nine, you're going to start off by knitting your side stitch. Then you're going to begin a repeat of knit five. Yarn over, knit one, purl two together, and you're going to repeat that four times. Knit one, purl two together, Then we're going to knit one, yarn over, knit four, then you're just going to repeat that and end with a knit one. For row ten, you're going to knit your side stitch and begin a repeat of purl six. Then knit one, purl one, and you're going to repeat that four times. Knit one, purl one. Then we're going to purl six. Then you're going to repeat that, ending with a knit one. For row 11, you're going to knit your side stitch and begin a repeat of knit six. Yarn over, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over, and you're going to repeat that four times. Slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over. Then you're going to knit one, yarn over, knit five, then you're going to repeat ending with a knit one. For row 12, you're just going to knit your side stitches and purl all the other stitches. So just purl across the entire row ending and beginning with a knit one. And that's it for this pattern. Um, rows 1 through 12 will form this pattern. And this is also a scalloped edge pattern. So this will be good for blankets too because then you'll have a nice scalloped edge. So I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.